hi you guys welcome back to a new vlog technically kind of a vlogmas vlog because it's in december and we are leading up to christmas however i feel like if i make this a vlogmas and every video has to be christmasy i'm going to be stuck on what to film so i plan to just amp up my videos this month maybe to two or possibly some weeks three videos a week and those videos will be varied so today I am actually putting up my Christmas tree, so I thought at least make the first video a super vlogmas -y video. I mean, I can't start the month of December without the tree going up. And funny enough, this year, um, it's going to be a little bit different. I'm aware that I've got a lot of new subscribers this year who may have felt like my green sofa gold accent living room has always been that way. I only did it earlier this year which has flown. So my Christmas decor that I already have stored away, it doesn't really work for my current aesthetic. My old aesthetic was very silver, very glitz and glamorous. Whereas this year, I kind of want to do a bit more warmer tones. So this morning, I got up super early. Also, today is actually the first day of like freedom. So a lockdown, lockdown number two in the UK is officially over as of this morning, today, 12 a.m. So I am actually feeling a bit tired because I did get up at like 5.30 a.m. I went to the gym when it opened at six. So after the gym, I decided to just stay out <laughs> rather than come back home and get comfortable uh, so that I could hit the shops once they opened and get a few Christmas bits. So I chilled in the car park, had a Costa, chai latte with coconut milk. I really do like chilling in my car sometimes, like are you one of those people? Because I surely am. And I sat in there for about half an hour, chilled, watched some YouTube videos and then I went into HomeSense, got some bits and bobs and where else did I go? And Asda as well. Went to Asda and got just like a big pack of baubles. So that is basically what's going on today. Tree is going up. I also have some bits and bobs to open. Some Black Friday stuff and also some PR stuff. And this set that I'm wearing I got on the Black Friday sale at Boohoo. I saw this and I was like, yep, yeah, this is a bit of me. It's essentially like a jumpsuit, like a brownie topi, like cream caramel kind of jumpsuit. And then the longest oversized cardigan. Well, it's not really oversized, it's fitted, but super long to your feet, guys. So snuggly, so cosy. I'm wearing brown loungewear like daily. So if you see me in brown loungewear throughout this month, it's not all the same stuff. I just have so many different variations of it. Rishi got his hair cut yesterday and he looks adorable. Ever since I did my juice fast two weeks ago, my diet has been very minimal. I am able to control my hunger and I feel like I can discern more or differentiate the difference between boredom and actual hunger. And so when I'm bored, whereas before I would like snack and things, I'm like, no, Jade, you're not hungry. And then I just don't eat. So yeah, hopefully it helps with my fitness journey and like cutting out bad stuff. But yeah, if you didn't know, I'm actually in my bedroom in this cozy corner. There have been a lot of changes in this flat and there are loads more to do this month. So I'm looking forward to sharing the house changes with you guys. I have some staycations this month. I've been talking for eight minutes, so I'm going to go and get my lunch. <laughs> it's such a dark day. <laughs> By the way, this doesn't help. How have all of my bulbs, well, I only actually put three in because this is super bright. The other two have actually blown, so I need to see if I've got any extras or buy some or order some if I can be asked because it feels so dull in here, which I'm not feeling. There are a load of parcels over here, some PR and some orders like this Zara order over there. Woohoo! I'll show you guys that. But yeah, it's quite a dark day. It's freezing in here because somebody hiding loves me opening the door. He walks outside and then he walks right back in in like a minute when he sees me walk in and then the house ends up freezing. But there is this in my house. Guys, I'm in love with this chair. Um, so I did actually get some money off it in HomeSense because there's a scratch. There was another one that had more scratches. So that was worse. But this I can definitely like cover up with a bit of black paint. Um, yeah, it's got a few damages like here. It's a little bit chipped, but I wonder if I can turn that around. Otherwise, I've got gold spray, 
all good so it was actually that's how much it is in store so if you see it or look for it it's 99.99 which is funny because actually that is a very good price for a chair these days and when i posted this on my story a friend of mine was like isn't it crazy that we're in a time where 100 pounds is a good price for one chair and i was like you are so right because i've actually been searching for similar chairs like this for my office and um, one that was actually like a swivel version so imagine this exact style the like rattan vibe like velvet seat wooden arms etc but it had like a swivel on the bottom for like an office and that was about 450 pounds loungewear of the day is this set from boohoo look at that jade you need to work out more which i am um and it comes with this gorgeous cardi that's telling you about like look how long it is this is like a blanket in clothing i am here for it i will leave a link um in the description for this set if it's still available because it was on sale and it was super cheap i think it was like 20 pounds 24 pounds for the set which these days for loungewear again inflation um is pretty good because this stuff has become so expensive now that it's so popular anyway sometimes i like to get a bit cold and get some fresh air and then go back in and be cozy again it's really weird but yeah also i have been working out before today like in terms of lockdown and this is actually where i've been working out on the balcony and i've been leaving my yoga mat and weights as well <laughs> i've been leaving it out here so that i have no excuse um or i leave it behind the tv which is right there because it's easy to find and easy to get and I have no excuse because I usually work out in the living room if not out here and that is a top tip if you're someone struggling to motivate yourself to work out make it easy for yourself if you're using a yoga mat or resistance bands which I also have here or weights keep them in a place that you are in a lot of the time and in an easy place and sometimes in a place that you see it all the time so it reminds you that you need to get your stuff together and work out top tip of the day <laughs> right it's cold so we are back inside and i'm gonna have lunch i said this before i'm gonna have lunch and then i will do the unboxings okay no because i'm awake <laughs> this is what happens and then i don't eat because I'm awake and lively right now, I am going to do the unboxings now for Instagram and I'll show you guys as well. And I'll link everything down below if I think it is something I wanna recommend to you guys. And then I'm gonna have lunch and then I'm gonna do the tree. Also because I know usually people do the tree. You know what, let's just get cozy. Let's just get comfortable again. So I know people usually do their trees like in the evening but I have a feeling I'm going to be falling asleep pretty early today because I woke up so early and um, yeah, I'm tired now. My plan was to come home this morning and have a nap and it didn't happen because I just felt bad and I thought, no, I need to get ready and start vlogging for the day. So that hasn't happened. So I feel like I'm going to go to sleep quite early or be super slumped quite early, which is why I figured the tree needs to go up as early as possible. <laughs> Because then I'm going to have to tidy up because it's going to be a messy thing happening in here. And I think I've decided where I'm putting the tree. Funny enough, I think I'm putting it exactly where I'm sitting. Okay, so yeah, I like to share my unboxings on my stories so that I can save the stories to some of the highlights that I've got. So either it's a black owned brand, I save it to black owned and then other stuff I save to my PR highlight just so that you guys are aware. The first thing is from a PR company, which I kind of know what it is actually. Some brands I haven't tried out or used before that they represent and they wanted to give me a parcel and let me try things out and see what I thought. So I'm excited because I like new things. This mug, which I'm excited about because I believe it keep, ooh, keeps things hot for three hours. This is amazing. This is not just good for like hot drinks. This will be good for soups, especially right now. 
Oh, this looks so nice and huge. Can you see it? Focus camera. I think I need a new camera, you guys, in the new year because this keeps on happening. But it's from a brand called Clean and it's, I think this is the scent Rain. Oh, that sounds like a bit of me. It's a liquid reed diffuser, which I love. I love a good home scent, you guys. I love a good home scent. But I think you guys already know that. Oh, I thought it was open, but it actually has another bottle area here, so that's good. Oh, it's refillable. Very smart, very, very smart. You have this, which you put inside. How smart is that? Focus camera, focus. So yeah, it's got this really light, nice light wood, white wash wood is a bit of me, um, on top. This is gonna be so cute. Where am I gonna put it? It could go on the coffee table actually. Could really work with the vibe I've got going on over there. Very simple, very neutral. Yeah, very cute. They've given me some Ruba Beauty Luxury Brush Collection makeup brushes. I need new makeup brushes and these actually look really good. I have got a copper theme going on in my kitchen, which I might not have for much longer, but it has been a bit of me. And um, you can never have too many brushes. I feel like I like to change my brushes often these days because I never used to. And then I used to complain about why my face or my skin wasn't gray or why my makeup didn't blend very well. It's because your brushes are either super dirty need to be cleaned or they've just had their time and it's time for new ones so they are gorgeous aren't they pretty 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 that's so cute very i don't want to get makeup on it yet but this is so 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 soft i actually needed one of these because these are nice for like powder and dusting so now i have this parcel and i do know what it is it's from a black owned company i've been very excited and waiting for this to come how cute is the packaging as well how gorgeous is this note as well let's read it it says Jay, just a quick note to say thank you. I love your radiant personality and what you promote on your platform. It's so refreshing to see a young black woman flourishing. I hope my goddess candles make a lovely addition to your home with love, Lizzie. Now, Lizzie, you already know that your goddess candles are going to make a perfect addition to my home. So let's let's open them up. Um, and yeah, everything, the attention to detail is just amazing you guys if i can i'm gonna ask her if i can share this discount code she's given me with you guys and if she does say yes i will be putting it in the description so have a look out for that this is it here i have them in two different colors and two different shapes and sizes which i'm really happy about um the brand is called nilo and the packaging the vibe is just honestly amazing this is the black candle ooh, 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 ooh someone's at the door this is getting ridiculous now i have another parcel jade what did you order oh it's from morphe okay got some makeup stuff this is the candle it looks um purpley like blue on camera but it's not it's black in real life gorgeous smells really nice how amazing does that look with that Okay, Jade, maybe you need to be careful to not get the wax on your new book. This is also a, a piece that I just bought that came in the post yesterday. I can probably wipe that off. It's just wax. It's fine. Anyway, um, yeah, I am super excited. And then I have this one as well, which I'm going to put, I think, in the bathroom. I think that will look really nice because the color is like really neutral and it's going to look so good in there. All right, the last thing in PR that I'm sharing with you today, um, I'll save the rest for other days is this perfume now this was actually a lovely lovely and thoughtful gift from a pr who are raising money every perfume that is purchased in superdrug 10 percent of that actually goes to the great ormond street children's hospital to raise money um, which is amazing i think this is such a great collaboration it's between tabitha webb and spritz of color what a gorgeous bottle i love it it's gonna look really nice in my room guys let's let's give it a smell oh oh this is nice Sweet, vanilla -y kind of vibe. I actually thought this was going to be more like floral, but I'm really happy it's not. I'm really happy it's like vanilla -y and like more natural smelling. I can definitely wear this every day. This is my new everyday scent. 100%. Thank you so, so, so much. 
This is amazing. So I'm gonna make this super quick salad. I actually got this um, salad for, why can't I talk? Caesar salads is one of my favorite salads. So I've been making those like every day for lunch. But today I decided I'm gonna mix up my two favorite salads. A bit of caesar -y vibes as well as my Mediterranean with the vinegar and the, ugh. Yum. Anyway, let me do that now um, because my Kiev is ready and I'm gonna make it now. Voila, here is my lunch. Very late lunch because I feel like it's like three o'clock or something now. But like I said, my eating pattern is a little bit disheveled, but I'm not complaining because I'm eating less bad stuff. So anyway, I'm really excited to have this because I haven't actually had my Mediterranean salad in a while. So let's get some lunch in my stomach. Also, I will show you the Zara bits because I just showed Instagram. We just got in from a walk. I'm freezing, so I brought out this old scarf I just found in the cupboard. Rich even has his coat on, which my mum got. Was it B&M? I can't remember where from, but she's gonna get him a red one for Christmas, but I just love these coats on him. It suits his breed and his little character so much. Doesn't it, Puggy Pie? Give us a wag on your tail. Give us a wag on your tail. Yeah, love you. So, the tree is going over here, you guys, and I'm very excited to get started. So there's the tree, Richie is down here on the floor. So I've been putting it up. The tedious part is separating all of the leaves. So I've actually just been on the phone to my boyfriend chatting away, doing it. Cause this is like the part that I don't like doing. All right, you guys, we're finally at the top, which is the best part because all of that has been done. Telling you guys, I have been putting this off, but I can't lie, I'm getting excited just to figure out what I'm actually going to put on the tree because I really don't know how this is going to work because I'm so used to like using the same ornaments and things every year. But this year, we got some new new happening. I'm acting like it's so huge, but it's really not. It's just a different color scheme. <laughs> so, tree is looking good. Excuse the gaps, there will be a couple of gaps until I start getting the lights on and the ornaments and then I can kind of spruce everything up. But yeah, this tree also, from what I remember, used to move because the floor is clearly not even. But I'm going to move it in place. It will be right here. Oh, I'm in love. This looks so cute in just in terms of like where it's at, okay? Why have I never thought to do this? I never thought to do this before actually because I used to have an L-shaped sofa, Jade, so don't worry. It's okay that you didn't think about this before, but this year, everything is new. We have a new living room. We have, oh my gosh, I also need to open my Boohoo <laughs> advent calendar today, I haven't done it. But I really love where that tree is right now. It's gonna look so good, like with the curtains opened and stuff. Yeah, I am gonna put the chair back, I think in that corner, um, just cause I really like the look of like an accent chair next to the tree. It's really, really cute. It's, it's a nice setting. How cute and Christmassy does Rich look? Guys, I also <laughs> forgot to show you this. 
who remembers this from last year and how Richie was like running around? He is definitely going to be wearing this in the picture this year. Honestly, time has honestly, honestly flown, but how cute do I look with my tree? I'm praying that next year Christmas though, I will have a new tree. Okay, something wants to go in my eye and ruin my manifestation. <laughs> next Christmas, I would like to get a new tree a bigger tree because this tree is like only a tiny bit taller than me i mean the main bulk of it is actually shorter than me it's just got this bigger tree bigger space grand christmas reveal that is what i'm aiming for next year so we'll, we'll see you know this is actually my fourth fourth christmas here right so some things i bought today that i'm going to show you and then i'm just going to put them up um, and speed it up so i got this pack for five pounds just a mixture of different gold baubles from asda i also got this star from asda which i don't know if i really want but i just got it just in case because my other tree topper was like super glitzy and silver tea light reef no idea where it's going it might go actually where the camera is now to be honest with you um i think it will be too much on the coffee table and i'll put like a nice tea light in here and burn it you guys will see the end result afterwards but it's like loads of gold acorns this is actually what i was looking for to add to the tree but i couldn't find them anywhere so that was like the kind of vibe rusticy gold and rich kind of vibe i wanted for the tree and then from home sense i got three of these really cute big they're quite big baubles they're white they've got white feathers in them i think that's gonna look really cute in terms of just the vibe that i was going for i do wish this part wasn't silver and it was gold i think it would look more rich um <laughs> i don't know why but this i was really drawn to this ornament it's like a nice door and again you could say i'm manifesting like a new door um that i can put like a wreath on and decorate the outside of my house not super tacky and light but like you know like just with reefs and stuff so one day so i thought i'd put that on because it kind of it's cute it works in my house it gives me like parisian kind of vibes or european -y vibes so and then this pack i got it's kind of like more champagne than gold 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 but i like that they're like droplet kind of shape i got this gold thing here which i could use a piece for the top if i don't use a star <laughs> why am i like this or what i actually planned to do was like cut bits off and just stick it into the tree no idea what i'm doing with i think well my idea was to actually put this along the console table or the tv stand but now i don't know if it's really gonna work so i do need to get like a nice garland of some kind um this week but for now i think i'm gonna see what this looks like stuck in the tree like wrapped around the tree because it's got acorns and browns whoops which is like what i really think the tree is missing with all the whites and golds and the tree is done so i decided to move it off center so i could have the chair here and also see from the sofa guys i am knackered this has taken so long but i am so glad that it is over um there's my little special ornament there in the middle and i'll give you guys a bit of a close-up some of the feather ones from home scent and these are also from home scent i did actually add some pampas and i also add some little bunny tail dried um plants as well that i just having a vase over there <laughs> so yeah i got a bit creative i decided not to cut this up and i decided to use this as my tree topper so i'll be taking the gold star back but i am really really enjoying it i've just put like a a thin throw like linen throw underneath because i don't have an actual tree skirt but i like the relaxed vibe that that kind of gives off rather than something super stiff and like it's a tree skirt so yeah i'm really liking it i do think i want to get like um a garland for the console which is all a little bit messy over there guys how cute is this i actually made this on a joe malone um online event a few weeks back funny enough there's a joe malone candle finished <laughs> but yeah all good in the hood you guys it looks so so adorable in here and just by putting a tree up i actually feel very Christmassy.